There are several different ways to get rid of the edges on the border so that it makes the apples look like they are inside the container. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that vary in intensity and so you can choose the options that work for you. The first and the easiest way is to use the eraser tool. If you hover over you can see it's the eraser tool. It uses a paintbrush. Right now you can see a, a big circle on the screen. That's the size of my brush that I'm going to paint with. And by paint I mean I'm going to erase the content. You can use your left and right bracket keys to make it smaller. And then it's important to know what the edge is like. And if you come to the top right here where it says 200, you can choose the size and the hardness. So it's 100% hard right now. And that's what you want if you're trying to make it look like it has a hard edge to it. If you want it to have a feathered or a soft edge, you would put the hardness at zero. Now I need to select a layer and I need to select the layer for, let's start with this red apple here. So I selected the move tool and I clicked on that apple and now I'm going to switch back to the eraser tool. I'm going to zoom in, command or control plus on your keyboard, and then I'll use the space bar to move around the workspace. I need to erase this content here, but the brush is too big. If I was to erase right now, you can see that because I have the apple 3 copy 2 layer selected, I erased everything on that layer. So I'm going to make the brush small enough that I can come in from the side and start erasing the part of the apple that I don't want. And I just want to go until I hit the edge of the box. And so this will be a tedious option. It will be harder in the long run than option number two that I'll show you in the next video. But it is easier to get started with. And if you do small strokes, so I just let go and I got too much of the box erased. If I hit step backwards, you can see how much of the apple came back. If you just do a little bit at a time, click and then release, click and then release, if you go too far, you don't have to worry about undoing because it won't undo too much.